so I just landed and it already feels like Christmas here. Look at how festive it is. There's the guy who's going to pick me up. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's cold. I just got here in my room and it's really amazing. I would love to do a room tour now, but I'm actually pressed on time because I arrived quite late and I already have an activity this four o'clock and I only have like 10 minutes to prepare. So I guess I will do a room tour later in the evening if I come back early with still some light on. Well, actually the sun sets really late here, but still if that doesn't work, then I will do it tomorrow. So based on what they told me here, this restaurant is by Original Circles Hotel Bakuni and it's basically a French style bistro. She actually just told me the courses that I will go through and I'm quite excited about it. Especially the dessert because she said that it has cloudberries and I can either love it or hate it. There's nothing in between so let's see how that will work out for me. So she told me that I can have one non-alcoholic drink so I asked her for something sweet and refreshing and she made this one. She didn't give me the name but it's obviously a strawberry drink. It smells really sweet. It's really good. It has a really strong taste of strawberry but not too overwhelming. The cheese is really good. I actually don't like cheese a lot before. Ever since I visited Romania, they made me eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> and I guess I finally acquired the taste. And I'm glad I did because there are so many good cheeses out there. I also really like the bread. Like it's a bit of a sweet bread but not too sweet. So it actually kind of complements the salad which is a bit bland sometimes. But yeah. Now you might be wondering, is this my first time in Finland? Actually no. Because I have been to Helsinki before when I was invited by their tourism board. So it actually feels great to be back here. And of course I'm very excited to explore Vanyami because I haven't been to the region of Lapland yet. So yeah, there are so many activities that I'm looking forward to in the next days. By the way, when I was invited to this Rovaniemi Summer Ambassador Program, they actually asked me if I wanted to ride a rented car for my whole itinerary. But I told them that I would rather prefer that they um, they arrange pickups and drop-offs for me because I actually have a problem in punctuality, especially when I'm traveling alone. So yeah, that's one solution to it. And now here's my dessert. It's actually the same cheese as the one that was on my salad. This is so good. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna try it with cloudberries as well. The cloudberries are actually a bit sour. So you can just imagine how this goes really well with the cheese and this sweet sauce. Oh. Now for my next activity, they said that I will be floating in a remote lake. That's interesting. I actually kind of like this because the only thing that I want to do right now is to lie down. <laughs> After eating all of that good food, I would just love to lie down. It is such good weather right now. I was actually a bit worried that it will be too cold, but since the sun is shining, it's actually really good. So for the activity that I will be doing, I will need to go to the office of Safartika, which is just 100 meters away from the restaurant that I just ate in. So it's just right there. Take steps backward. 
So you are going to leg like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Release your hands. Put chin to your chest. And go floating on your back. And then later you can relax your head. Maybe if the uh, wind is pushing you away, you should come back. Oh. And how to come back? You don't need to use your legs, mm -hmm. only Arms. your hands. Oh, okay. Like this. Lift head up mm -hmm. and start moving your hands. Okay. Now you are going that way. But all remember, don't look back like this, no. because then you will have water. Or don't turn like this. No. If you want to look back, head mm -hmm. up okay. and like this. It's easier when you are in the water. You can leave your shoes and jacket and take this. There is a balaclava oh, yeah. and a woolen socks. I feel like a teletubby. Yes! <laughs> here quite early and the sun is still up I think the sunset is gonna be about 10 o'clock tonight so let's do a room tour today here's how my igloo looks from the outside and now just a quick note apparently this is something that you use during winter so that you can shake off the snow basically over here is like a storage area we got here some extra pillows, hangers, basically just a storage base for all your other stuff. Your shoes could be here. I already put my bags here. And then over here you can find extra indoor slippers. And then of course, they also give out this eye masks. Because of course, if you're the kind of person who sleeps early, you will definitely need this. If you come in the summer, of course, the sun sets at around midnight. But right now, since I'm here in late August, the sun sets at about 9, 10 or 11 even. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna need this. These are extra towels. And then I guess these are bathrobes. Yep, they are bathrobes. And then over here, maybe let's do this room first. These are just extra beds. So yeah, I should have brought some people along with me because there's so much extra space here. And then over here, got a mirror right here. This, of course, is the bathroom. It's really spacious. A hair dryer, tissues, towels, soap. Do I have some soap for showering? Yes, I do. It's for hair and body. Now, finally, here's my room! Wow! It's amazing! It looks so beautiful! And of course, the igloo-styled roof. So let's break this down one by one. This is just a small shelf over here. The guide told me that this is Santa's little helper. I totally forgot the name that they used to call this little guy, so I'm gonna put it around here. Here's just an extra seat. And of course, spacious bed. You know, this is quite a typical way of doing bed sheets in parts of Europe, which I always find interesting. Some mall decoration over there, carpets, other extra table, extra chair, and then another of Santa's helpers. So these are just complimentary items. Water. Oh, blueberry juice. Oh my god, I love this. I also love another one of their berry juices which I'm also gonna buy at the store. <coughs> anyway, these are also complimentary. Taste the wilderness. These are Arctic superfood. Dark chocolate with wild blueberry. I have here a little note. 
with compliments. Oh, I guess I can bring this home. Ah, I can bring this little guy home. He's so cute. As for this little pouch over here, let's see what's inside. This is a shower gel, shampoo, hair conditioner, and I guess this is gonna be lotion. Am I correct? Yes. Lingonberry, is that how you pronounce it? But yeah, I remember this as being one of the common berries that they have here in Finland. Of course, behind all this complimentary stuff is the flat screen TV. Over here is the trash can, and then here is the fridge. They have already given me my breakfast for tomorrow, which is this one. Let's see. Or maybe I should just open this up tomorrow. Yeah, so it can be a surprise. <laughs> I guess they gave me extra water as well. Two extra water which they didn't really have to do because Finland's tap water is safe to drink it's like one of the cleanest and safest water in the world but yeah of course I still appreciate the gesture right over there is the AC which will warm up the room just about right and then the last important feature of this room is this tablet which will be very helpful for guests because for example you can chat with the reception if you have any concerns you can even do a wake-up call if you want to and then of course if there are emergencies and I'm not sure what this order is about but yeah I guess you can order stuff if you want to you can also receive Aurora alarm so that you will know if the northern lights are in sight I would actually like that so oh no yes I want to yes <laughs> Okay, so that should be fine now. I really hope I can see the northern lights at least one of these days. The northern light season should start around late August up until March. So I really wish that I could see them. I really love this room and I bet you guys loved it too. Anyway, I have to head off to sleep now because I actually woke up really early. I came from Macedonia, woke up at 3am, took a flight to Zagreb in Croatia and then from there I went to Helsinki and then from Helsinki finally here to Rovaniemi. So it was quite a trip. But yeah, good night for now guys and watch out for tomorrow because I am going to visit Santa's village.